So under utilities <coughs> is where you'll go and export your file. So also before you export, like I said, if you has chosen if you have chosen a, a coordinate system on your device and you realize that that's not the coordinate system that you wanted to use, uh, you can go and change your coordinates here. If you go options and you go coordinate system, then you can go and change your coordinate system to whatever you want. So I'm going to change it here to, let's say, South Africa. And the zone where I am at the moment is WG31. And I want to see the mean sea level. And then I say OK. And you'll see if I click on my point, you'll see my coordinates has changed. It's different now. So then I can go and export this file. If I go file, ach, utilities, export. Then I'll see there's my file. If my file is not there, you can go and browse also to go and select it manually. And then choose wherever you want to send this file. So output folder. So now, like I said, default by default, it's going to send it to that folder that we've created in the beginning. <coughs> and this is your your formats that you can choose from this list so I can show you a few things uh, a CSV file normal Excel file is called a, conf a sample configurable ASCII setup so you click on that just before you export this just click on the properties and by default you'll see there's two templates underneath this configurable ASCII. So what you need to do is you click on it and you delete those templates. And then you create a new one. And the template name you can call it whatever you want. Uh, Excel. And then before we do this, let me just cancel this, sorry. Uh, you'll see at the file options. You can choose if it must export one set of files per feature type. So it will create one file for that manual that we've collected, all the manuals, and one file for point generic, and one file for line generic, and one file for area generic. Or you can select all the feature types in the same file. So if you select that, then all the features that we've created now will be underneath under one file and it will use the file name when it exports but if you choose this option it will use the name of your dictionary and the name of the point generic and the name line generic to make different files so you have to go and um, change the name every time you export it it's nice to use this feature because maybe you've taken a couple of lines that you don't want in the same excel file as your manuals it's all up to you what you want to do. So if you select that type, it will use the correct file name. You don't have to go and change it. So let's click on New Year. Template name, call it whatever you want. You can put type your name in there, or I'm just going to call mine Excel. Then your file, output file extension, type in CSV. And you apply this to all the points. Your field format is delimited <coughs> and your all these are correct like this. Fields comma, text double quotes, dot. So in this block, this is where you'll put what do you want to see in your Excel file. So here you can say I want to see latitude, longitude and mean sea level or the northing and easting coordinates but then you have to make sure your coordinate system is correct and attributes is your dictionary this is all this feature properties this is attributes okay so you can click on I'm just gonna make this latitude longitude if you want to see the height you can click it on and then 
maybe the feature ID and the feature name and the attributes whatever you want to see then you can say OK and it will give you a warning you just say OK now also if you choose this option it won't use these information that you see here as a header in your um, Excel spreadsheet if you choose this option it will use this as the header but then you have to tick it on so I select that option and I go and modify and I click on this and say use template as heading and say OK give me that warning again so I'm going to export this so it creates different files for all the features I've taken and then uh, this is your corner system you're using you can use it or you can change it we can change it in here say no I want to use latitude longitude that's correct that's correct uh, I just want to take you through this is the units so you can choose here what format you want to see your latitude and longitude in if you want degrees minutes seconds or any of these other formats also the quadrant you can choose if you want to see a plus and a minus or do you want to see north east or south and west here's your time format you can change this to whatever you want your date and time you want to see date month and year and 24 hour clock um, attributes so this is where I've said in the beginning that you don't have to put in a time and a date for your data dictionary because you can select it here as well you can say date recorded time recorded and it will export that uh, date and time for you and also you can look at all these other um, options you can switch on and you can switch on whatever you want okay so I'm just going to switch this off now because we already have a time and a date there and then I, uh, you say okay and now this export is set up the way that you want to set it up um, you don't have to do all the settings again it will remember all the settings you've just done so the next time you'll just select your format there and then you export it so let's I'm just gonna say OK and then it exports my files into that format and it tells me it's exported these files successfully and I just say close so now you can click on this little uh, folder here to go and open files to go and browse so it takes you automatically to your project folder you'll see that's the folder that we've created when we open Pathfinder so under the export folder you can see there's my there's my files so it's made a file for area generic for line generic the manholes and the points so if I double click manholes just uh, give it a second to open